Tonight, a new six investigation reveals the places in Central Florida you're most likely to receive a parking ticket. Yeah, and it is no fun finding a parking citation on your windshield. So we want to help you avoid those costly fines. News Six's Mike DeForest is live in downtown Orlando, the city that issues by far the most parking tickets in Central Florida. Help us out, Mike. Well, Ginger, it's up to you to make sure you feed the meter and avoid those no parking signs. But we, we wanted to find out where those violations were occurring the most. So I spent the last few weeks analyzing thousands and thousands of parking tickets. I don't need this right now. When Madison Nanny left her car here to run some errands, she did not know this is one of the most common places in Central Florida to receive a parking ticket. The signs clearly say no parking, but here along Orange Avenue near Wall Street, people like to take chances. Statistics show it's a losing bet. In the past year, nearly 700 tickets have been issued on this block alone. I thought it was okay to park here, but... There's a sign right there, so I guess I was wrong. Firefighters need access to hydrants. This one on East Pine Street next to the plaza draws more parking tickets than any other in the city. Nearly 100 a year. If you're catching a flight at Orlando International Airport, do not use the disabled parking spot unless you have a placard. More than 200 people paid the price for that. Just blocks from the Amway Center at the intersection of Garland and Central is this city-owned parking lot where thousands of people fail to feed the meter. More than 3,000 in just the past year. But the place that keeps parking enforcement officers the busiest is in the heart of Orlando. On the south shore of Lake Eola, along this four-block stretch of Central Boulevard near shops, restaurants, and condos, nearly 4,000 tickets have been issued in the past year to people who failed to pay their parking meters. I'm not happy at all. Jill Dorfler not only chose the most likely spot to receive a parking ticket, she did it at the most likely time. Statistics show the most tickets are issued on Wednesdays between 2 and 4 in the afternoon. Maybe a warning would be nicer first. But I guess there are signs, so I should have realized that, but um, I just kind of forgot about it. Now, we found that over the last two years, the number of citations for meter violations has actually dropped by about 25 percent. Now, that drop coincided with the installation of these smart meters. Besides putting in coins, you can also swipe your credit card or pay with a mobile app, making it more convenient, making it less likely you're going to get one of these. Matt and Ginger. Oh boy, we've all been there. Okay, so Mike, we all know that there are probably parking problems in the city, but you found hundreds of parking tickets are also being written in a Central Florida neighborhood? And that's right, it surprised us. Tanner Crossings out in East Orange County. We found out later, though, uh, a lot of UCF students live there. They have a lot of cars, and supposedly they clog the roads, making it tough for emergency vehicles to get through. So the HOA there has put up no parking sign throughout the neighborhood. Lots of tickets there, too. All right, we can should consider this our warning. Mike DeForest <laughs> reporting live for us tonight. Thank you, Mike.